Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Gujarat and Punjab. Now, before I get to the preview, you keep in mind that you join the fan to play leaderboard that is the Grand League with 25 teams because you have a chance to go all the way to Australia and watch the T20 World Cup finals live. So, you keep in mind that you join in with 25 teams to have that chance and along with that, even if you're a little bit lower, don't worry, there are a lot of cash prizes for you like you can see above. So, go make 25 teams and win lots of prizes. So first up, let's look at the keepers and the batters for this game. We have two interesting options in Johnny Besto and Ridhiman Saha. Currently, I'm going with Johnny Besto because we have seen in the last game that they sent him up the order, which is the best thing that can happen to him as far as the batting order is concerned. And hence, I'm expecting it to only get bigger and better. Apart from that, Saha is a decent choice. I would probably take him if he's going in for the chase. But while batting first, we see that the pitch is slightly sticky at the start. And Saha has not really had the smoothest of starts to go along with. Apart from that, I'm going with three batters. The first batter is Shikhar Dhawan, very obvious choice, looking in top touch. And he might also be a Grand League captaincy or vice captaincy choice. Many in small leagues also would do that. The other two picks for me would be Shubman Gill. Again, looking in good form, that strike rate has managed to go down again a little bit. But I'm expecting that positive intent also to come along soon. And the last pick would be Mayank Agarwal. He's got starts here and there, he's not really converted yet. But obviously, that is a good sign if he's getting those starts and hitting the ball well. So, the big one is only a little far away then to come. And now we are on to the all-rounders and bowlers section. I'm dominating this game with more all-rounders and bowlers because of the trend that we are seeing. My pitches are slightly slowing down. So, I'm trying to back myself with people who are going to get multiple chances in the game. So, the two all-rounders I'm going with, Hardik Pandya and Liam Livingston. Now, we're observing that Hardik Pandya has not bowled in the last few games which maybe makes him a little more risky captaincy or vice-captaincy choice, but you'll still see many people in small league making them, his cap making them their captain. Apart from that, I'm looking at five bowlers in this game. My first two bowlers are going to be Rashid Khan and Kagiz Rabada. Both have been in top form and hence, yes, my captain is going to be Rashid and my vice-captain for this game is going to be Kagiz Rabada. And then the other three bowlers for me, Shami, Ferguson and Ashdeep. Now, Arshdeep obviously has bowled really, really well. If you see that economy, he's bowling the tough overs. He's just been unlucky to not get wickets. He's surely going to be in my team if he bowls first. In case they bowl second, then Rahul Chahar will be in that team for me. And apart from that, the other two bowlers explain themselves in Shami and Lockie Ferguson. Lockie Ferguson has been going up and down as per the trend that we are hearing about. But I'm backing him to come good on such a pitch, especially if he hits his length correctly. So finally, this is what the team looks like with one keeper, three batsmen, two all-rounders and five bowlers. Obviously, this combination will be altered if the pitch is fresh or better in nature. But currently, assuming the pitch being slowing down across venues, this is the team that I'm going with. So we have the matchup section and we have two really interesting matchups. One is Kagiz or Abada who's dismissed Shubman Gill twice. But I think the bigger highlight of this matchup is that if you see that strike rate, it's hovering somewhere around 70, which is not really great for the format. And obviously, you might want to drop Gill in a Grand League team, especially if you see that Rabada can make use of the conditions. The second matchup is a battle of attrition where Liam Livingston strikes at 140, 150 against Rashid Khan. But on the same end, Rashid has dismissed him four times. So you're going to see some fireworks within that battle too. And now we have the fan to play challenge picks where you can make your team with just two, three or four players. Currently in this game, I'm going to go with a full quota of four picks. I'm going with Rashid Khan, Liam Livingston, Shubman Gill and apart from that, Shikhar Dhawan. Obviously, Kagi Zorabada will feature in this in these set of picks too, especially if he bowls first. So you two go make your picks now and do remember to check the team based on the toss because obviously there are lots of changes happening. All the good luck to you and remember to join us on Telegram for your final team and second innings updates.